G'day everyone, my name is Andrew from JCon, and I'm here with Mark from his streams. Yes, Mark, Mr. if you Onslaught. want to introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Mr. Onslaught. I stream on Twitch. I play uh, FPS games like Siege and PUBG. And I'm sick of people coming in and telling me how much they hate Siege and how hard it is to enjoy it because of all the sweaties. So let's let's have a chat about this tier list and, and show people that it can actually still be fun. Oh, I think it's fun even with all the sweaties in there, you know, like, I like I that. A but little let... bit of sweat is fine, but you know, I want to meme. I just want to have fun. I want to kill some dudes. I don't want to play too hard. I just want to have a bit of fun. So, yeah. I and think... Ma Ma Mark is a yeah. friend of Jacon. You know, you I've known him for years now, yeah. and uh, uh, we're only just starting cross content. That's it. So we're doing a little bit, little bit of crossover at the moment, but a little yeah. bit, little bit different from my usual stuff and your usual stuff. So it's like going to be a little bit educational about what what uh, what Siege is doing. So we'll go alphabetically. We'll follow the, you know, we'll follow how this one's set out. Mm. So I'm thinking Ace is medium because he's he's a hard breacher. Mm. So you know, you want to break down the reinforced walls. You can do it from a distance, which is good. But I feel like you have to know a bit about the utility and yeah, because it doesn't break you know, away traditionally. Use it. No, so you know, thermite, which is another character, you literally run up to the wall, put it on, and blow it up, and that's it. Ace, you got to throw it. You can't throw it up against a, an electrified wall, otherwise, it's not going to work. However, you can do sweaty plays and like throw it up, and it breaks a bit of the wall, and then shoot it off and stop it in its tracks, or even that's do it right. closer towards the ground so it doesn't go its full run. That's right. And for for casual or beginner players, I feel like that's a you know you need to play it a little bit more to yeah. understand that. So, so that's why that's why I've got him as a medium because you can do that sort of thing. Um, just utilizing utility effective, I think you need a little bit of knowledge, which is why I've put him as medium. What do you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I think I think yeah, to get the full utilization of him, you'd have mm. to go real sweat mode, but you yeah. can still get a fair bit out of him just because you know typically hard breaches aren't that hard to understand. Their job's fairly straightforward, and I think his guns are pretty forgiving in that respect for new players as well. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. And the yeah, the AK-12, brilliant gun, a uh, little bit of recoil, but I think um, Selma Aqua Breacher is actually quite handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good. It's good. We got Amaru. She's got the Gara hook, as Ubisoft likes to call it, but it's basically the James Bond repelling gun. Once yeah. you hook it onto things, you don't have to wait for it to like climb no, up it or right. anything it'll take yeah. you in there yeah it'll it'll send you up there it's it's great if you're if you're on the outside and you want to get to the top floor set your gun up blast through the window then you're up there that's it i've put amaru as medium although like i feel like it is easy enough to use but if you don't know how to use it you're basically going to repel to the top of the building or into the building and then that's it honestly i put her as hard <clears throat> you reckon I, I don't know well, first of all you're starting off the like if you're just a newbie right yeah, you're going in there, and it's it's very confrontational with her skill. So if she just barges in, whatever. Oh, like yeah. this you... is so this is a character you just you just send it. Yeah, but your your automatic weapon is like this light machine gun, which kind of feels like they nerfed it, and it's yeah. only just coming coming back alright. So you'd have to have pretty good gun accuracy as well to get the full use out of her. A new player would be like, this is far too much in my face. Yeah, I, I think I agree. I think I think I'll move that down to hard. I, I agree. For a full competent utility usage, I think it's I think it's too hard. I think it'll be too mm. hard for a, someone just casualing it, not not really wanting to drone out, work as a team. That you know, oh. you just want to get in, shoot some people, have a bit of fun. You know. Hell yeah, yeah. And you'd have to drone up there in order to prep where yeah, you're landing, and that you just you don't get to, caught out. Yeah, you'd have to make sure you you drone that room before you go up there, and that you know, <coughs> one that takes map knowledge, two communication from your team if someone else is going to do it so mm. um, you know all of that probably not great for a casual player all right we got ash all right we got ash uh ash is very easy she's one of the og isn't she yeah i think she's one of the very first ones i think you know, yeah she's got a breaching ram which is basically like uh you know a portable grenade launcher i think utility wise she's really easy you just um shoot a breaching round and that's it so a breaching round will breach through a soft a soft destructible wall it won't go through the reinforced wall but you're a fragger you're there to get in the building first you know cause a bit of ruckus i think it's oh yeah she, she's good for like a good for <laughs> soft entry you know if there's good no for soft entry yeah. great for a new player because you can just run in and shoot don't worry about it sort of thing and her guns are very accommodating as well yeah absolutely um the r4c i think is the best in my opinion um yeah great great easy starter great very easy starter i think 
Yeah, she's and she's she's a quick girl. So well, she doesn't have much health. She's very fast. Yeah, three. And, so she's a three speed one armor. Um, I don't think we talked about that before, but that's all the all the operators have different speed and armor ratings. You know, the faster you are, the less armor you have, but the more the the, the quietly you run. So I've I've definitely died to Ash so many times, but she's in the very easy category. Yeah, very easy category. Yeah. Next one's gonna be Blackbeard. Oh, also what, very easy. What a dickhead, right? He is. <laughs> and they have they have nerfed him to oblivion now because mm -hmm. his 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 shield his shield above his gun's only twenty HP, so it's basically gonna stop one bullet mm. and that's it. But that could that could be the difference between life and death, honestly. That's right. And it has been both... plenty of times. Oh, absolutely. Like you've you've more or less got a got a got a second life if mm. you're both gonna headshot each other at similar times. Well, I think when he first came out, I think it was an was an unlimited shield or like an 800 HP shield or something. It was ridiculous. Some, some absolute rubbish, but it's that down shield, to 20 now. Yeah, it saved you yeah. a fuck ton back in the day. Oh yeah, now it's now it's just like yeah, it's one hit basically. It's more or less yeah. one hit, and that's it. You got, I think he got two shields per round, and that's it. I, I put him easy. Just, I don't <laughs> think he's very easy to use. Oh, I've I've got him very easy because it was just like you. Yeah. I remember I, I used to play him when I first started because yeah. you go in, you put on your shield and that's it. You, you don't have to think about anything else. You don't have to worry about your team. The only thing you got to worry about is the other the other team. You don't have to worry about, you know, hard breaching or worrying about, um, right, I'm just going to, you know, play what's in front of me. I'm, I'll knock them down to very easy because that is, that's fair. Like, yep. I, that's at least what I did when I first started as well. Yeah, just that's it. Like, he, he was one of my very, very first characters. Yeah. Like yeah, Blitz. Blitz? Blitzy boy, you, Blitz. you can you can you can start on this one. Oh, fuck I've got, Blitz. I've got fuck, my opinion. A, a fuck a fuck versing Blitz, fuck playing Blitz. I can't do it to save my life. But he's a very he's a decent character. I'm gonna put him in the medium, right? Medium. And this is why. Because like okay. you need to know the distance of how far your flashbang goes. Because it does a distance and yeah, it has an effective true. rating. I think it's uh, four meters. It's a lot shorter than you think. Like if you come into a room and they're on the opposite side, they're not going to get flashed from you. You gotta get right up there to completely blind them. And like he plays very differently to the other characters because he his main shtick is that he has a pistol, right? He needs to be within a certain range to flash you and then has to be hella accurate with that pistol and make yep. sure to manage like whether his legs are exposed or not. Yep, like I feel right. like if, he, if you if you crouch, you're more or less covered other than your feet and you know bits on the side of your shield. Mm. But that's about it. But to use him effectively, I think he's actually hard. <coughs> yeah. I think he's hard because you have to know that rough four meter I think it's four meter distance. And then yeah, pistol only. Pistols aren't particularly effective, especially if you're gonna hip fire it. Mm. But yeah, I, I think you need I think you need a bit of knowledge to to have him used effectively. Mm. I think it's gonna. I think if you're half decent at him, I think he'd go really, really well. But I think initially he's gonna be too hard. It does take a bit of getting used to for him. Yeah. Which I haven't given him the time for. Because, uh, <laughs> no, I. Because shields are filthy, and I hate even being Monty. But it's effective. Oh, look, yeah. Look, you're a good Monty, so uh, you know you can you can keep doing that. You do you. <laughs> All, right. All right. What about this so Bucky Buck. boy? We got Buck. I've got him as easy. Yeah, um, Buck is, Buck guns, is. great guns. He's got his shotgun attachment on his assault rifle. The only thing you got to know is you can't shoot through reinforced walls. So I think he's an easy character to use. I put him as easy just because the nature of like the the attachment. There's like shotgun attachment. Yeah. Like with some walls, you actually do need to like put in the effort to just destroy it, like a couple of shots to make a good mm. clearing, and then also yeah, the control guess... to to make a good hole that you can actually go through. Yeah, no, that's a good point. So yeah, I think I think easy then rather than very easy. Because yeah, with Ash, it's literally just you shoot it into the wall, it'll make a massive ass hole. Mm. But yeah, Buck, you gotta know, oh, I need like two shots into this to open the hatch or mm. um, I need to aim it a little bit lower so I can crouch through it rather than vaulting because it takes a little bit longer to vault through a yeah. uh, vault through a hole sort of thing. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. Oh, Capital. Yeah, what have you got for that one? Uh, I'm in, I'm in a bit of loss for Cap. I like him. I like Capital, uh, but I don't play him often enough to have a true opinion. Okay. So I, I really I really like him. Um, yeah. I've got him as a medium. Yeah, I can see that. His utilities are easy. He's got his yeah. So he's got the tactical crossbow, and it's got either a smoke or a flame um, flame attachment. So 
if you think of like if you come from cs you you know you got your mollies you got your smoke grenades basically mm. on this tactical crossbow you know if you know how to throw that sort of stuff it's not it's not too bad but you do have to have the the frame of mind to change to that utility change to the correct one you want to use smoke a room push it in or you know flame up a room or something and do that so like i don't i don't think it's i don't think he's too hard but i think you need more presence of mind about the game and the situation and what's happening to use him effectively because his ability isn't like you shoot to kill or even assist you with kills it's either blocking off areas or dealing with yep. specific characters in specific yeah, ways it's like, yeah it's like area control or if you've got a monty oh not a monty <coughs> like if you've got a clash in front of you yeah you shoot that shit to the floor and clash is going to run off because clash is an absolute pest mm. so I've, I've put him in as a, i've put him in as a medium because I, I do like that he has the hard breach as well the hard breach charge yeah uh, I think that's handy as sort of like a secondary hard breacher when you're when you're playing just as a you know if you're there by yourself and you haven't got you know you're just playing by yourself and you're not talking to the team which 99% of the people don't actually talk because I don't want to talk to <laughs> randoms I just want to play you know mm. <clears throat> so you know having that hard breach too I think is handy so yeah I, got, I think he sits in a good middle all right we got Doki what have you got for this one what have you got for Dokubi uh Dokubi I'm gonna put her as medium medium okay i've i've got her as a hard yeah yeah i've got her as a hard so the reason why so she's got her logic bomb so that's she calls all the defenders phones mm -hmm. you can hear the phones go off but her second ability is that she needs to go and find one of the dead attackers phones pick it up and can hack that phone so you can see all the cameras that are inside i think literally only for that reason she's actually hard because if you don't do that I think you're wasting your your utility and the the handiness she brings to a game and yeah for that i've bumped her down to hard I, I think she was a medium with the logic bomb because if if you do it at the right time and you push in and distract them i think it's really good however however i have actually bumped her to medium solely based on her her first ability so the ability to call everyone oh, and make okay. her because that is you press it and you've given away the position of every single one of the so regardless mm. of your play level your team benefit from it as well mm, so you right. can yeah you make it in infinitely easier for your team to search for him because it, it doesn't rely on like this yes counters you can use to, in order to make the the phone call stop yeah but that's specific like i feel like her general use of it is just so broken like even adding this, like, even if you wanted to get efficient with her and learn how to hack the cameras by going over dead bodies, that's more of an added bonus than it is a, like, you're going to get the full utility. Because her full utility is essentially just calling people and giving away their position. I feel like that's come in handy so many times just by itself. And then the rest oh. of it, yeah. Yeah, no, I see I see what you mean. I guess, I guess yeah, literally calling someone, hmm. if that, that's easy. But then, yeah, doing the other one, I guess it bumps her up to a medium. Yeah. No, I, I think I think that's fine. Yeah, I think I agree with that. That's good. Okay, so Finker, I haven't actually unlocked this person, but I've watched people oh, play. Finker is so, the best. I love Finker. Look, I know you do, and I know she's got the, the health bonuses for people. You can res people mm. that are downed, and you don't even have to be there. Like, that's super handy. But from what I can see, you need a little bit of situational knowledge about what's going around. So I've got her as a medium, but you're, you love Finker. So I want to, I, I play her constantly. Yeah. Uh, I think honestly, she probably sits more in this, like in between area of easy and medium. Mm. Cause her ability is like very supportive, but it doesn't last. And as soon as you use it once, you kind of understand how it works, but then yeah. there's a lot of little idiosyncrasies that you need to learn as well which kind of puts her in that medium category. Like if someone's in a trap and you see them down and you press it, it has no effect, right? And then it's also knowing that if you do it, but then someone walks into a smoke, they actually die twice as fast because they have the blood pumping the ga gas through them twice as quickly. Oh, I didn't know that. I yeah, didn't... yeah, yeah. So if you yeah. have effects like that on you, it doubles the effects uh, damage on you. So yeah, if you if you know that they've got that, then you do that and then it's like yeah yeah so that yeah that's, that's i see that that'd be something that you you learn over time or, or mm. something you it's definitely something i've died to <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i put her in the medium whereas you can get the immediate benefits out of it but yeah. there's um, there's also all these like little hidden downsides as well to doing it 
especially with your team as well because not only does it boost them but it adds this uh audio it makes like the blood pumping noise in their ears and with a game so heavily based on like sound yeah uh that could also be incredibly distracting so you need a you need to time it when you're like someone's in the fight it doesn't matter they're not relying on sound at this point they're just shooting at someone's head then you kind of do it then i'm happy that medium's good all right flores he's easy he's yeah he's he's easy as shit RCE, Retiro Charge, he's got four exploding drones. You put them down and blow shit up. That's it. Actually, yeah, yeah. Blow Just easy, up. not very easy, but easy. Not very easy, because, um, you know, you got to know where the drone holes are. Hmm. That's about it. Or you stand around a corner and then you drive it into... You can't blow up reinforced walls, but anything anything soft or any um, of the defender's utilities can be blown up. So easy to use, pretty good weapons. Um, you know, I don't think there's a whole, whole bunch to, to say about Flores. No, nah, he's new, and like I feel like people have already gotten the hang of him. He he yeah. wasn't really he was special to add in, uh, and he's definitely been nerfed from his his exploding. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So, it's so initially his initially the explosion radius was huge. Like you could you could blow it up, you know, in the middle of the room and you know kill a couple of people, but the death radius is significantly lower. Yeah, yeah. You so, have to really intentionally know, go for a person not, to get them. Yeah, so his exploding drones aren't particularly good at killing people. It's it's more moving people out of a corner or, you know, getting rid of a utility. And mm. that's it. Yeah. So yeah. Easy, it... easy enough to use, easy enough to have fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Fuse. We have Fuse. I've got Fuse as medium. He's loud. I think you need to learn where you can place it because I remember playing Fuse early and getting so annoyed because I'd go upstairs from the side and I'd be trying to put my, you know, explodey boys up there mm. and getting really annoyed I can't put it through certain floors <laughs> and stuff like that. So I don't know. I feel like uh, I put him in the easy category as opposed to medium because you don't inherently need map knowledge. If you found the point right or found your objective, so long as it's not a hostage in which there is that game type. Oh, yeah. Do not do not run fuse with a hostage. Actually, no, I think I'm going to bump it to medium. <laughs> yeah don't play fuse if you got if you're playing hostage don't fuse the room where the hostage is because you will you know lose the round instantly yeah because we we, for, it, we forget that we there's hostage even available because we don't play that game type no so that's that's how i've set it up so whenever i decide to start doing ranked a lot playing bomb versus playing what's the other one secure the site secure. yeah secure secure yeah, the area secure and se- playing hostage it's all very different play styles Mm. it's almost like taboo if you use like uh mm. fuse in hostage you're like what the hell are you trying to do because his his bombs will just sometimes they'll just fling off into oblivion into the next room if they get enough momentum i don't know i don't i don't think he can be used particularly effective all the time with getting kills and stuff mm. because of how random the the bounces are and then you know working with your teammates they're either going to die or they're going to run out because we're holding the door sort of thing so i think I think there needs to be a bit more communication if he's going to be used well. Mm. And I find a lot yeah. of the time, even if you are trying to fuse the room that they're in, they can shoot through the wall and destroy your gadget. Yeah, that's it. If it's if it's on a softball or if it's on a window or a door, they can if they if they hear the sound go off, they can they can shoot it and stop all the projectiles getting yeah. sent into the room. Yeah. All right. Glaz, I think he's easy. He's got his sniper. Um, if you put his second scope up, you throw your smoke down. You don't move. And you can see through it. And that's it. Nothing crazy. It's just a sniper operator. I've put him as very hard, honestly. <laughs> very hard. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's hear your reasoning. All right. You can you can pick any character and shoot with him, right? But if you want to get okay. the maximum, so we're going to assume that you know these guys are good, these people are good. They're coming from Call of Duty. They're coming from Battlefield. They know how to snipe. They know how to play CS. But the difference we're, we're assuming in... these guys are good shooters. Let's take Plane for example, which is a great glass map. Uh, you can shoot through the windows in that and actually kill operators. However, if you're brand new and you've like you've seen everyone try to shoot through those, you're like, oh, they, they're indestructible. They're part of the map. You're not. You're gonna immediately lose most of that glass knowledge and efficiency out of him. This is this is coming from someone with a lot more time than someone just joining. Yeah. You don't put glass on certain maps because he's not particularly useful. I'm saying for a new player who's just getting in and learning how to use his ability, I don't think he's particularly hard. But the thing is, like, he, he's got a very different play style to every other hero if you want to maximize his efficiency. Like, he, yeah. he's more of, like, deliberate 
concentrating down a hallway, you know, take your time with him kind of thing. And he becomes very deadly in that respect. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, because he's not necessarily a run and gun. Like you're gonna... and, and his gun reflects that. It's it's a slow shooting gun, mm. but it's it's yeah, high that? powerful. Yeah, okay, I, 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 I put I him as, as hard or very hard. Like I'm willing to put him as hard to comp. Like... In saying that too, some people like playing DMRs. Yeah. Some people like playing shotguns. Some people mm. like playing LMGs. So if you like playing DMRs and you like playing that sort of character, I don't think it's particularly hard to, to get. No, it, to but get, I think it is. It, I think it will be infuriating because you throw down a smoke and you hope people come to you, but you also do need a bit of knowledge and kind of uh, I guess, yeah, tactics in mind. Knowledge. Of yeah, like it's not how your enemy people aren't, gonna, behave. people aren't gonna be like sprinting around at you and then mm. you can you know see them running down the hall towards the smoke. Yeah, sort of. it's it's not like you can get up on a hill yeah. or some area and like snipe no, down that's people. True. You're you're going in for those people. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to bump that to medium because it is yeah, I guess it's a it's a learning the Rainbow Six play style. No, yeah. that's fair. Yeah. Good luck. I'm gonna put her down as easy. I've got her as easy too. Yeah. LNG because is good. Her uh, track stingers are good. You just got to know wherever you are, you know, chuck them on stairs if you're coming up the stairs so people don't come behind you. Like even your basic general ideas, like I'll oh, cover my escape or chuck it on the point. Those yeah. are just still really good plays for her. Like, yeah, that's just, it. You can get trickier and start putting them in really... If you could have good map knowledge, you can definitely get the most out of her. <clears> but even just your straightforward basic play is going to slow down any player. Yeah, she, I think she'd be a good starter. If, if, if you do get the pack with everyone in it, I think she's a good starter character. Yeah, she's, she's a good one to start with, actually. Yeah, I think so. I think, yeah, one definitely one of the best, better ones for easy, in my opinion. Mm. Like, I think she'd almost be bordering very easy. Yeah, but... I think she's I think she's in the easy to be, you know, you'd have to know that oh if I'm coming up the stairs, people might be wanting to flank me, so you know mm. do it that way sort of you, thing. Yeah, you still need to use some brains mm. with her. She, yeah, you need yeah, you need some sort of thinking, but yeah, not not, not, not intense, no. No. Habana, uh another long range hard breacher. Also I sort of put her into the same category as Ace. Um, you know, you gotta know what your uh, definitely these days, yes. Breach you know, you gotta know what your breach gun does because you can change the amount of so her ex Kairos, you can you can shoot six out, you can shoot four, you can shoot two. It all depends on how. Yeah, big a I think you want I think make. she's definitely moved into medium. Yeah. So, uh, you know, since knowing, that update. Yeah. So knowing what size you need, you knowing you know you, you could have a little bit more map knowledge, a little bit more knowledge of the game before I think you can fully utilize what she is. But um, mm. you know, range hard reach is always handy. But yeah. I yeah, think, she's I think very, she's her good. use is very specific. You know. Yeah. You're yeah, going for right. a certain effect. This is sort of the same with Ace. So it's similar sort of mm. play styles, but yeah, a little, little bit different. I think it's more knowledge that you need. Yeah. It's a bit more tactical good. as well. Yep. Oh, yeah. that's it. All right. Yana, very easy. Uh... Very, very easy. So she's got a Gemini replicator, which is basically like a holographic decoy. It's a free mm. drone. It's true. So instead of you physically droning out, you put your replicator up. And you literally run around and wait till you see people. So yeah, I think, it's, I, I, think I think you think can get immediate value out of her. You can get immediate value. You can have fun straight away. There's no map knowledge needed. You just know that hey, I can, I can put my, myself into a holographic decoy and run through, and you know it doesn't really matter about anything else. There's not much to say about her. She just goes in. She huh. she drones the area. She gives she yeah. point, pings enemies. You know, it's such. She lets you know where they are. Yeah, that's and it. it's a, a fairly decent like. You'd have to be really looking at the character for like those little tech flickers in order to mm. like see that it is the one. But either way, you still want to kill it because you don't want your position to be given more away. Yeah, so her, her holographic decoy won't get pinged. So you know, oh, that's a decoy and I saw her running from here. I could, if I'm close, you know, you can go and do that. But that's more like a, you know, when you've played for a long time, you know. the. Yeah, that's, more, that's not so much like her play style. It's people playing against it, you know. Yeah, that's it. Like, you know, while she is easy to play, she's also fairly easy to counter as well. Yeah, that's it. But, you know, if you're playing other casuals, you're playing beginner players. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Basic plays will work. Yep. Okay, IQ. Very hard. I would love to be a good IQ. <laughs> but I think, I, think she's, I think she's very hard. Because you need to know what utility is available. What sort of utility can be shot with your camera? What mm. sort of thing can be shot through certain walls? All that sort of thing. So I think there's one, too much map knowledge. Too much knowledge with um, potential utility. Um, she can be very handy if you know, but it's just it's just hard to start with. It's too hard to start with. I think I think she'd be one of the hardest ones because if you go in, you're like, oh, there's like three things here, and 
if you've played enough, it's like, okay, well, that one's a camera. That one's um, a wall that one's one of the Yeah, that's, you know, that's, there's a, you know, Jaeger. It, it, de it definitely there, does. You know? Like, she definitely, be she, her name's IQ for a reason, you know? Like, yeah. <clears throat> you need intense knowledge of the other players and what they have. Yep. Because only some things can appear in certain areas, right? Like, uh, cap cans, like wall bangs can only appear on door frames where high or low. So if you know you yep. see something in that general area, you can be pretty certain that it is his wall bang. Yep. Or if it's like Valk's camera or anything like that, like um, fully utilizing Legion's, it. Legion's minds as well, that, that shows up. Mm, mm. So if if you know what they are, I think she's really handy, but I think, yeah, initially she's, she's too hard. I think you need a little bit of playtime and understanding the operators before you can be effective. If you're gonna run and gun, go play Ash, go play Blackbeard, yeah. go play Recruit. Like you just you just want to go shoot stuff. Um, I don't think yeah, I don't think IQ is gonna be used particularly well. Yeah, you're playing casually. You you don't care. It's fine. Mm. You just you just want to go shoot stuff. All right, Jackal. Uh, I'm gonna actually put him as uh, easy. Yep. Right. I agree. Yep. Uh, because you just chuck on his glasses, and you have a look around. You see any footprints? You scan it. Does the rest of the job for you and your team. Right, yep, immediate value. His immediate guns aren't value. that bad as well. Guns are great. Immediate value. You don't need map knowledge, and it helps the team. Yeah, that, that's basically that's basically what easy is. It's like you got your utility is easy to use. You don't need to know the map. I think the only uh, reason it's not very easy is because there's that certain distance. Like even if you can see footprints, right? Yeah. Uh, you can't just scan them from anywhere. You have to be a certain distance to them for it to register. Yeah, so, that's it. So the, it's learning that and then also the knowing the relationship of the footprints, like how recent are those? Like yeah, so footprints don't fade with time, they fade with steps, the amount of steps that that player has taken. Yeah, so if it's so if it's red, they're really close. Um, and then, it, you know, was it red, orange, yellow, and then green? So if someone's taken five steps and sitting in the corner, it's going to be red. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think very easy. Yeah, I think very. I, no, I think easy. I think it takes a little bit oh, of. Oh, yeah, sorry, easy. Yeah, not. Yeah, very not very easy. easy. No, yep. it, it does take a bit of knowledge on the character, but you can learn that fairly quickly. Yep. with a bit of practice. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Okay, Callie. I think Callie's hard. I, I wouldn't put her very hard, but I put her as hard. So she's got her LV explosive lance. So if you've got an electrified wall, she can shoot this lance into the wall, disable the the electrified wall. Mm. And then you can hard breach in. Her machine pistols do tear up as well, if you're close as well. You know, you got your long range. Her her sniper is great. You hit anyone, they're going to down them. A headshot will insta-kill them. But if you're the last one and you've got your sniper or you've got your C75, mm. there's not much in between that. Like if, you, if you're playing, you know, 30 meters apart, 20 meters apart... You're gonna to have to be really on the ball if you're gonna if you're gonna get the kill. Mm, mm. You're either really close and you're gonna kill him, or you're looking. Oh, you're, down the you're you're fucking sweaty as shit, and you can like use your primary weapon as a mid range weapon. Oh yeah, like if you're if you're an absolute crack shot, doesn't matter. You you'll be fine. But for for the majority of people, because it's got such a long such a long reload with a you know it's a bolt action rifle to to use her explosive lands to help out the team. I think that requires a bit more knowledge and gameplay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yep. 100%. I wouldn't put her as very hard, but it, she no, does, I, definitely has a different gameplay to everyone yeah, else. Sorry. She's got a C75, or you can get the SPS MG9, which is a machine pistol, but the, yeah, the C75. I I'd definitely wouldn't pistol. learn with her. No way. I haven't even... Like, she's going to be the last one I unlock, because I just... I'm not a sniper anymore. I'm too old for that. <laughs> I'm too old for that shit. All right. This line. Line, right? Line? Yep. What do you got for that one? I'm going to put it smack and easy. Very easy or easy? No, nah, just easy. Just easy. Just easy? I reckon he's very easy. So you got the E1D. You trigger that and anyone running around on defense is going to gonna be pinged on the map. Mm. You don't need to know the map. You don't need to do anything. Immediate effects. You've got, what, two or three charges around or something like that? Mm. That's it. The, my counter argument for saying he's very easy is that... Mm. Even if you ping them at the very start before you're even breaching in, you've wasted a ping on like essentially nothing. To well, get the you, get to get better effect out of him. You, actually, yeah, no, that yeah. that makes sense because you know that you don't do that at the start of the round. Because exactly. Most people are set up ready to go. So yeah, okay, I'm I'm happy with that. That can go to that can go to easy. Yeah, I think like just yeah. after playing him a bit, you get a bit more tactical mind. You don't need perfect tactics, but 
It's like it's, an, it's essentially a budget Dokubi, right? Yeah, budget budget Dokubi. You just set it off every now and again, or you know, if if you can hear people running around, you just you just ping it or whatever. But yeah, yeah. I, I don't think there's anything there's anything particularly difficult about it. No, nah, everything else about yeah. him is super straightforward. No, yeah. I agree. I've got Maverick as medium. Oh yeah. I think he needs. I think he needs uh, a bit of knowledge not to get shot when you're breaching. <laughs> like you know, you've got your breaching torch. So you got to basically walk up to the wall, and you know you can drag your you can drag your torch along and cut holes in the wall and that sort of thing. Mm. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're not careful. People can shoot you through your holes that you've literally just burnt a second ago. With Maverick, you could have a little bit of situational awareness, which I think where medium sort of comes in. Like if if you've got good game sense, you could probably get away with a lot of plays with him just straight yeah. off the bat. Yeah, that's it. Like he, you know, it, it's not particularly difficult. You walk up to the wall and you burn holes in it. Like it's, it's not hard, but to be good, yeah, I think you need a little bit of game sense to be good. Yeah, like I, I, I unlocked him. I played him a few times. And I'm like, I don't have the game sense for this guy. Uh, yeah, uh, I probably do now. I, I could probably make use of him now, but yeah, I, I'd, I'd like to give him a go. Actually, like I'd like to buy him semi recent, like in the next couple, because like I've got Warden left, got Cali left. I'm not using them. Gordio mm. with his volcano shield or Vulcan shield. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know he's fine. I do love the shields, but I don't particularly care. But I think Maverick could be reasonably helpful. Okay, Monty, Montaigne, oh. your your main. Ugh. I'm, don't I'm don't gonna say you, that. I'm going to let you start this. Just just remember this is for this is for beginners. All right, for beginners, uh, yep. I'm going to slap him right in easy, right? <clears throat> oh, okay. Slap yep. him in easy. The reason I put him as easy is because no matter what, you're always going to benefit from a Monty. Like, so yeah. long as you're talking with your team and having and a right. decent, you, what's, decent, what you know, what's what's the situation if you if you're playing by yourself though? The I situation is that when people see you play Monty, they should, and I think they should recognize a giant shield when they see it. Either feel good because it's on their side, or feel fear because regardless of whether you're good or bad, if I see a Monty in a game, I'm like, are you gonna fuck my world up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. I, I guess having having that striking striking fear into your enemies is is quite handy too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even if you're not a good Monty as well, like if you're in there and also just purely giving information and distracting, and you die, like you've yeah. given information, right? But he's not very easy because he's not like a shield hero like Reinhardt who can hold it up and then goes immediately into attack. Switching from his guns to his shield is a slow process, yeah, and, it's he, a and even the gun you're switching to. Is a pistol. He doesn't get anything more than that. No. And so that's right. you better make sure your shots count. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like I've I've actually put him in as medium. So like all that stuff, I completely agree with. I think you need a bit more map knowledge, uh, like theme park or something. On that map, especially, you can have so many so many cases of areas that can you can be flanked. There's multiple stairs you can, you know, people can rotate that's true. on. That's true. You know what I mean? Like you need, you just need that little bit more knowledge. Like I reckon he'd be easy medium because yeah, he's easy to use. You can walk in. They're it's not going to kill fear. you because you got your big boy shield. But I think you got to, you got to have a bit of teamwork with your, with your teammates. You that's gotta, true. I, I, I tend to gravitate towards big shielded characters or. Yeah. Like, you know, when we play siege with, you know, th even, even three with us, like that's fine. Like even if you had one other person you're playing with. Yeah. I, I, okay. I think medium's fair. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I, I think knock's very hard. You need you need map knowledge. You need situational awareness. Um, the gun, the you know, the gun's fine. It's an SMG, but I think mm. you need presence of mind when to um, when to activate your hell presence reduction, which is basically silent walking or really quiet running when enabled. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a counter argument. Like mm -hmm. you've put it in very hard, right? Yep. I'm going to put her in easy. No. <clears throat> and the reason being that. is if you're a new player coming into this, he's like, oh, it's essentially a run and gun character, but I also get to be quiet. Yep. And that's it. You can be bad at that. You can be a bad player, uh, but you can get a little bit better just by clicking this button. To get the full use out of her, yeah, that's very hard. But you can get immediate gains from just playing her just stupidly, right? Potentially. Yeah. Like you, you can get you can get pretty lucky, but that but that's what 
that's what my argument is with you have to learn mm. where do I where should I turn this on where do I turn this off how hard can I run until I need to slow down before the enemy team will hear me um, you know if you're sprinting they can hear you from a long way away if you're walking it's it's significantly less yeah. So you need to know when to turn it on and off because it's a fair cooldown. That being said, though, you can pick up this skill and you under like in a few games, you're like, oh, okay, I get how it works. <laughs> and then the rest of it is muscle memory. You're building up your muscle memory for it. That's like to be get to get good with it is just practice. But yeah, I feel right. like other characters like Amaru and Kali and you know even IQ, this takes like dead like you need to memorize things not only about your character but about how other characters interact with it as well but i feel with knock you're just memorizing your interactions with your game i, I still think if you're going to be any good at it you, you gotta have map knowledge like that's that's by far the that's by far the biggest thing is map knowledge i could be convinced as medium but i don't think i don't think uh, hard, I don't, very hard yeah i don't i think we're gonna have to disagree with this because i think yeah i think knock's too hard for that that's yeah. just yeah I, I think to yeah i think to be good and effective i think it's i think it's not a character you'd pick first or, no. or even the top 50 percent. no no there's definitely easier characters yeah nomad's easy pretty good gun yeah ak-74m that's a pretty good gun all you need to know is your air jab launcher sort of like you you basically put that behind you when you when you've gone up the stairs or whatever Mm. And people can run into it. And one, it's a sand cue. Two, you know, it sort of stuns them a bit and knocks them back. Oh, like, I think she could. She benefits in the same way Gridlock does. It's like, you put it down yeah. and it hits someone or it doesn't, you know. Yeah, that's it. You I get think, uh, benefit out of it or not, but you've put it down. Yeah. There's an argument that could be made for her playing medium, but I haven't honestly played her enough to make that argument. Oh, I've, I've unlocked her recently. Really, really easy. Um, mm. I, but I you're also I'm talking really... from, like, experience as well with the game yeah that's right like i you know i i do know i do know a fair bit of map knowledge but if someone comes from behind me i'm, I'm either going to hear them shoot it or they're going to run into it so you've got plenty of time to turn around and deal with that yeah i'd, I'd put it as easy yeah probably i'd probably gravitate towards more medium because <clears throat> it's not so obvious as gridlock but it is the same play when you when you it's get into higher play, levels yeah, it's the same play yeah essentially. That's, yeah that's why i grouped that together yeah okay recruit very easy there's i don't think there's any recruit <laughs> yeah nothing to, there's no abilities you just run and gun so that's very easy so using recruit super easy to get started mm. I, I i wanted to make the argument for very hard because that's all <laughs> you've got <laughs> well look if you, if you can if you're comparing it uh of usefulness don't pick recruit if you've got anything else just pick anyone else yeah pick, pick a, anyone with an no, ability start learning yeah. it right Anyone Don't be a with bitch. Because yeah, one you can just be learning it, and and two, if you like LMGs, pick someone with an LMG. If you like the assault rifle, pick someone with an assault rifle. But you mm. have an extra ability. But yeah, e ease of use recruits recruits bloody easy. All right, All right. sledge. sledge. Uh, I got him as easy. Yeah, I put I'm him putting, in very easy. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm I'm putting him as easy, just sort of like how Buck is, because mm. if you hit too high, you have to vault. If you hit you know, if you hit too low or whatever, you know, that sort of thing. Like, you, you gotta... I would say because if you through. sledge a wall, you need to hit it once in order to create an opening, whether it's high or low. Yeah, that's, but you can that's just true. go in. Mm. But with yeah, Buck, okay, you need yeah. to be calculative that's about your right, shots. Yeah. And, and Buck too, sometimes you need two shots to do certain things. Mm. So yeah, I guess I guess you need to know. Yeah, and, but, but you can literally just walk just, in as a sledge and just fuck your way through. You make a ton yeah. of noise, you're in there. You know? Yeah, that's it. No, I'm I'm happy with that. I'm happy very easy. It's yeah. Good. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thatcher. Yeah. Um, oh. uh, I put him as hard, honestly. Thatcher. I've got him as medium. I put him as oh. hard simply because you need to know the relationships you have with other people's stuff. So there's some, some stuff you can throw your grenade at that, that doesn't affect. And then also knowing like how you want to affect him. So you can either blind someone's like you can take out their crosshair and such if you throw yeah. it at them and then also knowing the radius of your grenade as well because it doesn't have a, it has a similar radius to other one but like most grenades like they all have their varied radius of effect and then knowing where you can sneakily chuck that in where it's most applicable yeah i guess he is hard because you have to use him as a team because even if you know oh this thing disables the electric uh the electrified walls you have to have your teammate then you have to know that they're there and they're what they're doing so yeah usually pair it with like a, a hard yeah. breacher as well well, yeah, that's right. Mm. Teamwork and and yeah. good knowledge of the the stuff you're going up against as well. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Okay, thermite. 
So, mate, fuck you. Very easy. Chuck him right easy. up there. No, I've got I've got him as easy because you got to know about you know if you're running up to a wall, you don't just sort of run up to it. You know, you got to sort of check a bit before you go blasting in. Yeah. But I, I'd actually say very easy because and here's my argument, right? Sean doesn't play the game often, but when he does play, no. he just defaults straight to uh, thermite because regardless of whether he places it well or not, he's making a giant hole. But I don't think it's effective use of his ability. No, I'm not talking no. about effectiveness. I'm talking about like just straight out of the box. Just you know how to use helping. them. Yeah. Mm. I, I th think to master it and get like really good at it and like use it at too efficient. That's that's the progress you make to become a very good player. But straight out of the box, easy to understand, easy to know what you have to do. You don't have to position it in certain ways in order to get the best effect out of it. You just slap it down, blow it up, and you've gotten the best effect that it that's can That's why do. I've... That's why I've put it as um, easy with sort of fitting it in with Buck and like Lion. Like, you know, you're not going to use it on a soft door, right? A barricaded door. <laughs> I've seen him do it before. <laughs> you can, but my God, that's a waste. You know, maybe that, that is around, a waste. If you die and it's a 1v3, you know, do whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't take a lot of game sense to know. Don't use it on a door. Use it on a yeah. wall. And I think I think that's an easy enough lesson to learn. Like a very easy enough lesson to learn. Yeah, it is. It is. It is easy. But that's what I mean. That's that's a lesson you have to learn with mm. with that. So I think it's that's that's why I've said it's only easy, not very. I think it's very close to very easy. But I think, I've, um, I've, I'm I'm more in the mind of that. It's very easy. I think I think thermite is harder than sledge. That's that's I think yeah I think we're very close but yeah I've, I've got yeah. It, I've got it in the category of easy. Okay, fair enough. All right, Twitch. What have you got for Twitch? I'm gonna put it as medium, right? Uh, because it does n require you to have knowledge of the other gadgets and getting the most value out of your Twitch drone. Also, using that drone and not trying to resist jumping because you can't, and so you have to have good mechanical control to dodge shit and be stealthy to get mm -hmm. the most use out of your drone uh, and then shooting down the appropriate things like creating pathways for your team instead of just shooting down random ones that you know have less impact yeah see i've i've got it as hard mm. because you gotta have you've got to have the change mindset of that you know if your drone goes eh whatever like this is a special drone like there is two drones <laughs> in the entire map that can you know that can shoot stuff you know, if there's some utility there and you want to shoot the back of a mirror out, then yeah, absolutely. Rush in there, shoot it. Who cares if you who cares if you lose that drone? Because you've traded it off for an open mirror. Mm. That's like that'd that'd be a good trade off. So I think because you have to be a little bit careful, you've got to be a little bit careful and know what you're sacrificing your drone for and doing that effectively, I think is hard. Mm. <clears throat> and I think if you're a casual and just want a bit of fun, probably not a great one to pick. Actually, that is a very good point because it is mm. a slower pace game with her. Yeah, probably not a good one to start off with. It's not going to get you the adrenaline you want. It's more methodical, no, it's, slowly taking down yeah, your opponent's it. defenses. It's, yeah, it's not. It's not what you're going to be coming back for. Like you're not. Mm. You're not going to be going to bed thinking, "Oh, I could do Twitch tomorrow, and I can do this, and I can mm. take out six cameras." Yeah, I only got four, but I'm going to get better. You know, like you're not going to be thinking about that. No, yeah. you're going to be like, "I fucked ass with Ash." <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not going to do that with Twitch. You're not going to have nah. as much fun. I feel. Nah. <clears throat> Ying, um, I'm going to probably put hers like I want to. I want to put easy, but then I, I don't know if she's easy. I'd probably put her as a medium, because yeah. it's right. She's got the same I'm principles reasoning. as a, a flash grenade, and you can understand how that works. Most games have it, right? Have but then she has a special. Yes. She's got a specialized yeah, flash grenade that allows you to flash someone even if they're not looking at it, right? And she's mm -hmm. able to see through it. But that also requires you to have a good toss and a good like uh, map knowledge as well. There's been many times I've gone in this year and like fucked the team up. <laughs> like, I beat team, on that, like, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, so that's like. So that's that's why I put Ying on hard. Yeah. Because yeah, yes, it's a flashbang, but to to use it effectively, did you know that? The longer you hold it, the faster it, um, like, sets off the, the charge. Yeah. Yeah. So you can actually throw it along a wall, like, throw it at a wall, and it will actually follow that wall down and around. Oh, so, I didn't know that. Yeah. So I, I didn't know that either. So I, I, was, I was actually watching videos on her um, a little while ago. Yeah, she can, like, 
she can run along the edge of a wall and round a corner. So like if you're at a if you're at a 90 degree haul, you can throw that around the corner and have it like drive around the corner for you if you throw it in the correct spot. Jesus. All right. I actually didn't know that. That doesn't yeah. move her up to hard for me. The counter argument I have to that is that with even with everything you said, that makes her kind of bullshit and makes that pretty hard to master or even get the grasp mm. of or even to know of because that's kind of like very specific knowledge. Yep. I have been ruined by her just being used in a traditional sense. In a traditional, you chuck your... Yeah, you, you chuck, chuck it in the room. Thing. Yeah, and, and then, then... you run in and just shoot all the dudes. Yeah. Yeah, no, that do, that does make sense. I, I guess we're not talking about how hard it is to master. It's how hard it is to... Just to pick up. How hard up. it is to, get, to pick up and, and use and have fun. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be putting that as a medium then. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that, yeah. Zero, I think he's easy. You know, he's got the Argus launcher, which is a portable camera gun. You can shoot at a wall and it can see through to the other side. You know, that's that's pretty handy as an attack. You got an extra camera. I think he's I think he's pretty handy, hmm. especially if you don't really know what you're doing. It, you know, having an extra camera is good. I, I wouldn't put it as very easy. I think it's easy. I think it's one of the easier ones. Yeah. But I don't think it's in the very easy because you need a little bit of little bit of know how and like you know the sneakier spots you can put it in. You could just chuck your cameras down. Even if you're a run and gun person, you can continue to do that and let your other team members like who like sitting on cams and such yeah, take full utilization of it. Yeah. Where it's not very easy, it's just learning the surfaces that you can put it on. Yeah, learning the surfaces. Don't put it into an electrified wall. Like, <laughs> just don't do that. It's just going to explode. Yeah. Easy category. Not the easiest, yeah. but definitely not, one you could start off easiest. with. Yeah, not the easiest, but uh, yeah, I think I think pretty good. All right, Zofia, I'm I'm going into Zofia pretty blind, right? I don't think I've oh, ever haven't... touched her. Oh, really? Okay, I'll have a crack because I, I like Zofia. Zofia is good. I'm tossing up whether to put it easy or medium because she's a good gunner, but her ability, so she's got her KS-79 lifeline. So one, it's a like a, a light breacher or mm. a concussion grenade. Yeah. So it's sort of like Capitao. He's got his smoke and he's got his um, fire bolts for immediate effect if you literally just have it on like hard breacher mode and you, that's that's all you want to do i think she's easy yeah i think for like immediate effect you can i've seen yeah, people just pick her up and just like oh yeah she's kind of like buck yeah she's yeah she's sort of like buck it just you know you run in she's got an lmg like mm. or the m762 which i haven't used i always use a light machine gun um yeah, yeah i think i think Pump away. i think really handy yeah that's it yeah this was the attacker side of Rainbow Six Siege just talking us and like for players just entering into the game and getting immediate value. And that's how it looks. And this time, the, well, the next episode, we'll do uh, Defenders. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that good shit. Uh, not on just my channel, but on Mark's. I'll link his in the description below. Oh, thank you very much. But until next time, thank you for watching and uh, have a very lovely day.